So June has been one hell of a month for Sky School. Started off really well uh, with a great trip to Normandy. And then the weather in the UK for the last few weeks has just been absolutely fantastic. It's got a bit better out here. These guys taking off behind me as well. So I'm about to go and join them uh, with Mont Blanc just there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video made by Ricardo uh, featuring some of the students and also the uh, new British paramotor champion, Bruce Daniels, none other, uh, who is a member of our team. We're very proud of that. Uh, enjoy, see you in the next one. What are we doing today? Today we are doing uh, reverse kiting. Flying barely because wind is light, but doesn't matter. I walk forward, as it comes down, I stop. It comes up, I can walk very gently. If you keep the tension, walk slowly, it will always fly, okay? So once you register 100%, then we'll go under slightly, okay? Move back. You know what, you did, you did really well. I think, exactly, Bruce will be with you again. You can just go there, not too close to the tarmac. If anything happens, the Ds is your friend. Pull the Ds. Only to walk into wind. When it's strong, you can also walk with it than the other. The sim simple thing is this. Are you into wind? Yes. Are you in the middle of the canopy? Yes. Then you pull both the same. So your arms are doing this with the A's already. Yeah, I'm William. I've, uh, I'm 50, so, you know, starting to look at what I'm going to do in retirement. I want to make sure I've got a lot of hobbies later on in my life. Uh, yeah, I've had a, a bit of a bad experience with another school. Um, what I like about this place is, about Sky School, is you do stuff gradually. So you don't put us up in the air with a motor we're not used to. You know, we, we've just done some running tests with a motor on our back. We've got no wing. We've done winching, so we've been in the air without a motor. Like everything is gradually built up, so I guess. So when we go in the air, everything is familiar and we're just putting those pieces together. I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably in your genes to kind of love a little bit of adventure. My dad was in the parachute regiment when, you know, way before I was born. So maybe parachuting is, is genetic. I don't know. I mean, I did a few skydives, but it's too quick, you know, I want to be, I want to be in the air for a long time and, and there you're like 50 seconds in the air and then it's gone, you land, you want to go back up again, but it takes three hours to get back up, you know, queuing and ascending. So, yeah, I just, I just, I guess when you fly in a small plane or fly in even a big plane, I just love looking out the window from, from above. Sliding is good. Well done. I'm checking A's, A's is free, break is free. Very good, put it over here. Very good, I'm gonna do one more six point check. One, two, three, four, five, three minutes, three minutes is good, and six. Okay, very good, now I'm gonna test the radio. Radio check. Radio check. Nope, having a good time. It's, it's pretty hot this week, but you know, we're, we're taking it easy. Studying in the morning, practicing in the morning and late in the evening. So yeah, we're not being pushed too hard. Just, I'm trying to take it easy and stay relaxed. You know, it's easy when you first start and all the equipment is unfamiliar, you kind of get flustered, but if you slow down and enjoy it, not kind of panic, then you, you learn better, I think. I mastered the ways of feeling down. Happiness leaves whenever I come around The only way I feel is when I'm feeling sound And feeling my feet on the ground Cause I got the music Can you feel it? I got the music in my 
Good afternoon, my name is Bruce. Uh, I'm here instructing at Sky School. Uh, I just came back from competition last week and throughout the year since last season I've been flying as much paragliding and acro as possible and I'm really enjoying all parts of the sport. It's nice to work with paramotors on a daily basis because it means uh, I get to try out a lot of different equipment and it means I fly a lot in general. Sometimes it's only short flights um, but it's nice flying different conditions, different places, different countries, different equipment, getting used to all parts of the sport, learning from different people, and you learn a lot when you teach as well. Acro, I think, is really, uh, it really helps a lot with paramotoring. Uh, not necessarily doing uh, a lot of acro, but for sure, at least an SIV course is really useful. In acro, we're collapsing and stalling the wing, sometimes by accident, sometimes on purpose, a lot of the time, probably every flight. Uh, so it helps, you know, you come to paramotoring, you have a collapse or you need to stall the glider, no problem at all. It's like you're being at home. It's a good, useful skill. So I had some funny moments in Turkey last year. I made some mistakes, but luckily everything was safe. So firstly in the D-bag, uh, I think one wire to release was slightly longer than the other one. So when I put my thumb inside and release, my right hand releases first and then it jogs my left hand out and the wire is still holding me. Then I'm hanging from one side of the harness underneath the bag, uh, but it's no problem. Then I just release the other side and we fall down. So it was good fun. And then, uh, yeah, also I threw the rescue, which was also entirely my fault. I was learning some new maneuvers, pushing a bit too hard too soon. And with not much sleep, I pulled too early. And then from that point, I hit the I kicked the glider with my foot, which is something I never planned on doing. And from that point onwards, I made a few more mistakes and then I threw the rescue. So, but it's good fun and good practice. Uh, it was good. The uh, tent was a little bit cold in the night, but we had good weather, some nice navigation windows, and some nice economy and precision. It was a balanced competition this year. Still could be more balanced, but pretty good. The rules mostly is the same. Now it's nice. Last year was every task was normalized to 1,000 uh, points, but now it's whatever you get is the score, which in my opinion is better. The tasks mostly, as long as you prepare, are all fairly doable. However, some tasks on some days can be literally impossible. For example, constant speed with more than about 20 kilometers per hour wind it's uh, impossible to, that your slowest speed going downwind is your fastest speed going into wind. So it's a lot of planning, making sure you're doing the right task in the right weather, uh, even if it's not the most efficient route between them. So, after your first taxi, how do you feel? Or your second taxi, I successfully? Feel good. I feel good. Yeah, do you feel think good. you're ready to get up in the air now? I think so, yeah, I mean, 99%. 99.9, yeah? Yeah, minor and period. Abso oh, yeah, absolutely. So. So, yeah. Daria, 
Your first flight, sum it up in one word for us. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well done, that was awesome. Bravo. Yeah. Congratulations. 2024, first students in the UK. UK season officially started. It's yeah, it's open now. And well done. Yeah. How was your first flight? Very nice. Well, second is coming soon. Okay, do I enter now? Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.